I'm going to show you how you can make your order online page look much nicer by adding images and descriptions. So let's suppose this is your website and you have an order online page on there which connects to your Clover device so that when customers order online, the orders are sent to your Clover. So here's the order online page. As you can see, it does not contain descriptions. It does not contain images but it does contain all the item names that's from your Clover POS. Let's suppose you have, you have a PDF menu which looks something like this. And the PDF menu has descriptions, it has pictures, and you want to include these descriptions to the item names on your order online page. And you're probably wondering how you can do that. Well, it's pretty uh, easy. Uh, my recommendation is to make sure it's a PDF menu or somewhere where you can copy and paste it. So this example is JPEG. JPEG typically cannot be copied and pasted. Uh, so unless you want to type it out by um, looking at the words and typing it out, that's one possible way. Or you can convert it to a PDF and then copy and paste it. So that's two options you can do. So here we have all these items and we have the prices. So we have wraps, we have wraps here. Um, I added a few descriptions, as you can see, but I have not added all of them. I'll show you how to do that in this video here. I'm going to go ahead and look at some other items here. See, $11.99, $10.99, veggies, $9.99. So we can kind of get an idea of where these items are coming from. And another thing we want to do is we also want to reorder it uh, because this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 20. So we want to reorder it as well. So let's go ahead and start the process. The first thing I usually do is log into the back end. Um, you may want to do that at the same time, or you may want to do that after you review everything. So here's what the back end looks like. The back end basically is where you can make changes to the order online page. And you'll notice on the back end, there's a button called Clover Orders right here. Once you press Clover Orders, press Settings. Again, 99% of the changes that you'll, you will be making is from Clover Orders. Press Clover Order Settings. And then from here, you will go ahead and be taken to the back end of the Order Online section, which is Smart Online Order. And the first thing you want to do is you want to press Categories and Items. And then from here, you'll see all your categories. As you can see, here's the wraps. The wraps correspond with this wrap. Remember how earlier I noticed that it was not numbered correctly. I'm going to go ahead and number them correctly. So I'm going to press the icon here. And I'm going to quickly look through them and I see that and I see some of them have numbers, some of them don't. So we'll just go ahead and use whatever numbers are here and put them in that order. Um, okay, I see it actually looks like they are numbered correctly. So I'm just going to press sync. And then I'm going to go back here again and then I'm going to refresh the page. If you don't see a number correctly, just sync it. Uh, that way the numbers get updated. Let's take a look if that solved it. And one other thing I want to do is typically if you don't have many items in there, like this example, there's only 20 items in there. So what I usually do is I go in the back end, I press store interfaces. And then what I do is I press customize and I remove this message called show more. Like that. Because it's not necessary because there's not that many items in there. If you have, you know, maybe over 80 items and you want to use that. But if it's if it's not that many, just don't use that. I'm going to refresh it now. Now you'll notice that the show more is going to be gone. It'll show everything in one view. There we go, wraps. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 18, 19, 20. Yep. Okay. So that's how you can uh, reorder it. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll show you a few descriptions. The first thing you want to look at is plates. Let's go ahead and start with the plates section here. What we want to do is we want to go in the back end again, press Clover Order Settings, and then Categories and Items, Plates, and then press Update. And then look in your media folder if you see something that's similar to plates. So I'm going to go ahead and use this picture because it's pretty close to what I see here. 
four plates. See how that's pretty close? As a matter of fact, that is that same picture, I think. So it's, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. I have my plates on here. Let's see if I can find one for wraps. Wraps, wraps, let's see. Do I have a wraps picture? Let me see what the wraps picture looks like here. Oh, it wraps, there's no wraps picture, but let's see if I have one in my media library. If you don't have one, just upload one, okay? In this case, I think I do have one. It looks like a wrap right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this one right there. It looks like a wrap to me. Okay, yeah, it is a wrap. It says chicken little wrap. I'm gonna press insert to post. Salads, let's find a salad here. There we go. And then I'm gonna find appetizer. Let's see what the appetizer looks like here. Actually, they don't have appetizer picture here, so I'll skip that one because uh, I don't want to get the wrong one there. Uh, drinks. Let's see if I can find a drinks picture here. Um, okay, drinks I do not have. So, so I'll skip that one. Okay, but just while I'm here, I'm gonna mention something. There's a website called Unsplash, and these pictures, according to the website, says they can be used for free. So here's what the license says, Unsplash license. It says, Unsplash photos are made to be used freely. Our license reflects that. So let's go ahead and um, take advantage of this website. I'm gonna type in drinks here. Let me see what kind of drink, drinks uh, is is here first of all so I can have the right kind of drinks it's basically sodas can soda water and all that okay so let me find something that's pretty close to that let me type in beverages maybe that's a better name can soda I'll just put can soda Okay, so let's see, uh, I'll put different sodas. Um, let's see, that looks pretty cool. Let me see if that one is, let me see if they have, um, let me look at the menu. Is there a canned soda? Okay, so they do have canned soda. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one because that's the best one I found so far. Just gonna press download. Okay, and then give it a second to upload. Now I have a uh, drinks picture as well. So it's taking longer. Sometimes the unsplash images are very high quality. So, um, so make sure when you download it, uh, here's the best way to do it actually. Click on it and then download the um, small size. I'm, I'm gonna do that again because that picture may have been uh, Actually, there we go. It uploaded it. Okay. If you if you can't get it to upload, just get a lower quality by doing small. Okay. So I have um, uh, some of these uploaded now. Now what I want to do is I want to add descriptions to the plates. So how do I do that? I'm going to press Clover Orders. Sorry, right here. Items, Images, Description. Okay. Where's plates at? Plates, plates. Okay, uh, let me see what the first plate is. That way you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, soup of the day. Okay, I'm gonna go to soup of the day. Actually, let's not do soup of the day because that one changes. Let's do falafel plate. Uh, falafel plate. Oh, uh, here we go. And I'm gonna press add, edit, and add in a description or you can do both of them I'm gonna do image or description if you do image you can do image and description at the same time so let's go ahead and find that item called falafel plate so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna find falafel plate 
So since the falafel plate does not come with the description, uh, actually it does. Served with tahini sauce. Okay. So I'm going to write there here, served with tahini sauce. And I'm going to press um, save item. Uh, remember, you could upload a picture for the falafel plate. Let me see what it looks like. I don't, again, it doesn't have a picture for it, though. So I'm going to just see if I can find one in the library. Um, let me just, I'm going to randomly pick a plate that closely resembles that. Oh, there is falafel plate. Okay, there is an image for it. Perfect. I'm going to press insert to post. I'm going to press save item. Okay, now I'm going to now I'm going to refresh the page so you can see the work I've done so far. I've only done just some work, uh, but the, the idea is for you to get an idea so you can do it yourself and get more done. See, I have plates. I have the falafel plate here. Um, let me see if I upload the image correctly to the falafel plate. I'll save item. Okay, falafel plate should have an image to it unless I upload it to a different falafel plate. Uh, servo tahini sauce. Okay, let me see why this image is not showing up here. Uh, servo tahini sauce. Okay, the item is showing up. Let me take a look here. Okay, I have the wraps picture. So trying to find out why falafel plate, which has a picture attached to it, is not shown here as a picture. So um, so let's go ahead and try to figure that out. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search for an item called falafel plate. You want, the reason why you want to do that, you want to make sure there's not two of them. Perhaps there's another falafel plate on this page here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press items, images, right here on the left-hand side. And then I'm going to do a search for it. Okay, I see there's two falafel plates. Okay, so here's what happened. I did the one for this one, but this one is called 30. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, do this one, do the correct one, which is this one. Okay, add edit image. And this one already has that, so I'm going to upload my image, which was the falafel plate. Uh, falafel plate right here insert to post now it should show it so if you are uploading images make sure that when you don't see the image just see if they have two items with the same name now when I refresh the page I should see the falafel plate picture here there we go see I can see it now there's my falafel plate so that's how you uh, add a picture to the uh, plate itself uh, by by double checking to make sure the name is that same exact item. So now what I want to do is I notice the numbers are out of order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the back end, press settings. Oh, sorry, press settings here. And then I'm going to go to categories and items. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reorder this uh, so it goes in the correct order because I have it numbered incorrectly. So I'm going to go there, go over here, categories and items, and I'm going to go to plates, press this icon here, and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to put number one first, number two, I'm gonna put number three higher. Number four, okay, so number one, two, three, four, five, okay, so it looks like it skipped some numbers, but I'm going to try my best to get it close to it as possible, five, and then it goes all the way to number uh, 11. So let me put number 11 next after the 5. Okay, maybe there is a 6, but I don't see it. 
but this this is how you reorder stuff so what I'm doing here I'm just kind of reordering it so just move it up and down until you get the correct order so I have 11 12 13 um, and then uh, 14 16 um, 30 32 again you don't have to reorder like what I'm doing here but the idea is to 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 let you know that you can do what I'm doing. You can reorder it, okay? In, in case it's numbered, or in case you want it to go in alphabetical order or some different pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page and take a look at what I've done so far. It should be now alph alphabetized. And uh, let's suppose that you wanna even now as you can see it's alphabetical. I mean it's in, it goes in the, in the the correct order one two three four five like that. Okay, let's suppose uh, you want to change these colors here a little bit different and uh, this this color here You want to make it maybe a uh, red color. You can do that as well You're gonna press clover order settings store interface right here And then press the customize button right here Okay, and then we have all these options where you can change stuff so you can change the categories top margin, the categories font color, the category background color, the categories titles background color. Um, so you can do all these things. So this will change the category font color. So what you can do is click on this box here and then choose a color you like. Okay. Or you can leave it the way it was. Okay. So what we're going to do is do the background color. So let's go ahead and I'm going to do this one here. I'm going to do this color here. Categories, titles, background color. And I'm going to press save options. Uh, actually, I did the wrong one. I did this one. I'm going to go ahead and change that one back to black. I want to do this one. So I, I actually chose the wrong one. I'm going to go to uh, this one. And change it back to black and I'm going to change this one to that color okay so it's categories background color not titles I actually accidentally clicked on the wrong one but at least you know what that looks like if you do do that see before I had a blackish background now it has more like uh, faded color but I'm gonna, uh, now I change this one that way you can see what, it, what it's going to look like There you go. See how it's nice in this reddish color here. And then this one remained black in the background. Again, just do what I just did. Just continue the pattern. Uh, add images, descriptions to your items. That way your customers can know what they are ordering. And uh, get more information about that. Alright, and that's how you do that. And just before I go, um, I'm pretty sure you know this. But if you don't, uh, just know that you can change the look of the site very easily. So if you don't like that look, you can quickly change it. So let's say I want it to look like this. I just press activate. Go here and refresh the page. See now it looks completely different. So you can you have that uh, flexibility to change it, but I'm going to change it back to this one. But remember you have six options to work with, okay? And that's how you uh, change the store interfaces and the designs and the looks of your website. All right. Uh, if you have questions.